Number one may have started the franchise, but number five made it a legend. We saw Fast Five, so you know what that means. A nigga grow a baby in his belly, rock a rhinestone vest while ripping just into Kelly. Or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow and take a boat with speed to hitting cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, and the beautiful June. Gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, helped to blow off steam. Just a sucker plus the odd life of Timothy Green. Sharknado, the bird, Demic, how we staying alive. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool as ice. Cause a bad Jim Varney look. Looking kind and nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making, making the grade. grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to Matinee Monday. I'm your host, Paul Shear, and this is the YouTube program where we look back at classic How Did This Get Made episodes. We're going to play you a little clip of Fast Five in just a bit, but let's first talk about this film, this cinematic masterpiece, this Tolkien-esque piece of work. That's, of course, in the words of Vin Diesel. That is true. He did compare Fast and Furious films to Tolkien work on lord of the rings anyway i don't want to get into that because that's years in the future this is where the fast and furious franchise figure it out it's fun it's big it's bold we're bringing back all of our characters and we have a safe that basically destroys an entire city killing so many people but we don't care about them as long as our heroes get out plus we ask a very important question is Fast and Furious in the Parks and Rec world because, yes, no one other than Perd Happily shows up in the film. Now, if you are going back and watching all the Fast movies, let me just tell you, wait until the end credit sequence because there is a surprise, and even Jason and June didn't know about it. We're going to talk about Perd Happily. We're going to talk about the confusing plot uh, in an otherwise perfect action movie. We call this Thank God It Got Made. And it's the beginning of Adam Scott joining us to talk about these great films. So take a listen back to when we first fell in love with Fast and Furious on How Did This Get Made. You're <laughs> telling me that after the credit sequence, we find The Rock or Dwayne Johnson yes. working on this case. <laughs> working on just trying to find leads. Obsessively okay. trying to find leads. This is infuriating to me because after the maybe we should because this is the end of the movie. Yes, it is. Um, we, the thing that infuriates me is after the final sequence, everything's blown up, blown to shit. He lets them go. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, for twenty four hours. For twenty four hours. Crazy. Yeah. For twenty four hours. For twenty four hours. Because they yeah. saved his life. <laughs> and he, okay. he gives them a head start. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so he's just saying he's. This is what he's saying. I am willing to put up with another, at the very least, two years of paperwork. Yep. Yes. Of being on, just get, not to mention taking shit from my boss because I sure. let you go. Yeah. After my entire team is assassinated. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So now he's he's obsessed. So after with, explaining yeah. to all the families of my dead men <laughs> right. that the people that are responsible for it got away because I let them. Well, first of all, <laughs> ridiculous. He is not a good guy. Well, we should start, we'll start from the top. That's how it obviously ends. The Fast Five guys get away. <laughs> Spoiler alert. But, <laughs> <laughs> but let's start from the top. Um, first of all, my first thought on this movie is. Uh, I guess Dominic Toretto is going to jail. Vin because, Diesel? Uh, Vin Diesel. Oh, my Because God. at the end of Fast <laughs> Fast and Furious, oh he just goes, like, Paul Walker's like, hey, man, you got to get out of here. You got to go. And he goes, I'm tired of running. So he's tired of is running. Is that what happens at the end? Okay. Uh, at, so yeah. he just Here's volunteers to go to jail. Yes. I have been, <laughs> if this, is this bad? I shouldn't admit this. I've never seen one of these movies. Neither have oh, wow. I. This is the first one. I've I, seen the first one 10 years ago. That's saw, all I've seen. I saw the first one and I saw the fourth one in D-Box seats, which if you've never seen a movie in D-Box, you got, the Fast Five is in D-Box. The seat moves oh, with really? you like, like you're mm -hmm. in a car. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. But, um, I can tell you that I actually looked at Fast and Furious and I was like, oh, all those characters were in that movie? I have no recollection of what happened happened in Fast Furious, not okay. Fast Five. So you didn't miss anything. Okay, right. good. But wait a second. So there's Fast and the Furious, then there's Too, too fast, fast, Too Furious, furious then Tokyo Drift. Which 
This is a prequel to Tokyo Drift, Fast Five. That's what Wait. I heard. Yes. Oh. What? Yes. Fast Five is a pre. Uh, a, th- all the movies are prequel. So to they already have a baby. Tokyo Drift. In Paul Walker and his girlfriend have a just, baby. They're not in. Wait. Does Tokyo oh. Drift? Does Tokyo Drift take place in the year twenty thirty five? Like it goes. How, no. it How many prequels are they going to have? Because <laughs> it's it's all a prequel. At what, at what point will the cars in the prequels be more advanced than the cars in Tokyo Drift? <laughs> this is like Star Wars. Uh, they, yeah. they are creating a franchise like Star Wars where the, the future films will be less uh, technically advanced than the... <laughs> or, yeah. or isn't Temple of Doom technically a prequel to Raiders of the Lost Ark? If you yes, actually look at the dates. It is. Which is totally fucking ridiculous. So, but Because they, they didn't want Indiana Jones to be cheating on uh, Marion. Right. Oh, That's, wow. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so this is a prequel. But we well, all know a, he did. Yeah, he has. Indy was a fucking <laughs> whore. Getting it on all the Just time. Just Just out of control. Why do you think he had that wig? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to talk about why the news footage that we watched at the beginning of the movie <laughs> is staticky. Like, it's like, oh, prisoner escaped today. And it, all the news oh. footage is staticky yeah. as if it's not yep. coming in on a television. Did like, you notice... Perd Hadley. Hadley. <laughs> yeah. Who's he's, Perd Hadley? He's one of the first uh, speaking roles of this movie is Perd Hadley from Parks and Rec. <laughs> uh, the guy, I don't know the actor's name, but he plays the character Perd Hadley, who's the local TV news anchor. Oh, yeah, yeah right. He's, the, he's, yeah. The talking he's totally head. amazing. <laughs> I just love, though, that we were supposed to believe the whole movie that these guys are not bad guys because they d- weren't really responsible for these agents dying on the train. Like, that was like the moral barometer of the movie. It's like, well, you kind of were responsible but for totally, it. But they have to legitimately be responsible for the hundreds of deaths of civilians. Oh, oh yeah. During the vault sequence. <laughs> During the vault oh, sequence. How alone. many? Good Innocent lord. St- but yeah. they even like they cause multiple massive car pileups yeah. <laughs> that uh, people must die. No, people are dying all over the place. I mean, they, they try to make it safe because in the beginning when the bus, a yeah. prison bus, flips over like six times. Yeah. They, everyone on everyone. that bus was of killed. Course. Like, they, there's dead. no, they, it flipped like 19 times. And yes. they go, and they go, no one on the bus was injured. Really? Yeah. Wait, it fucking know. flipped over. It rolled down the expressway at a violent pace. <laughs> this? The bus filled with prisoners, All none, of which, yeah. none of which are wearing seatbelts. Yes. Yeah. Like, I've never seen handcuffed. a bus in a movie <laughs> flip so many times. Oh, the, I was shocked because I, when that happened, was like, oh, wow, they're going to start this movie by killing Vin Diesel in this bus crash. Right. <laughs> There's nope. no other way. No, everybody right. just walks away. It's like a fucking A-team spot. Not, not only does Vin Diesel escape... But unscathed and uninjured in oh, yeah. any way. Like he's fine. To- yeah, totally fine. fine. It was really disturbing, too, when they cut back during the vault sequence to, what's her name, Jordana? Brewster. Brewster. And she's laughing about how they just took out a bank. Yeah. It's like, people were right. in there. Right. I want they them to go to jail. Yes. <laughs> These oh, people movie, I want them to get caught. Reprehensible. <laughs> They're horrible. All right. That is just a little sampler of How Did This Get Made Fast Five. It is now available wherever you get your podcast in the How Did This Get Made feed. If you follow us on Apple, make sure you actually follow us on Apple. That's what I meant to say. It's like, follow us on Apple. And also remember to like, subscribe here, there, go everywhere. Tell your friends about it. We love doing this show and we love doing it for free. So the more you tell people about uh, how to visit us, how to get it, it helps us. There you go. Enjoy your day. See you next time for another How Did This Get Made Matinee Monday.